So for some mysterious reason, Google Analytics 4 does not show the purchase conversion rate by default in the reports. That's why in this video, I'll show you two ways to show the conversion rate in GA4. <laughs> Hello, data people. My name is Robert, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let's just jump into GA4. I'm right now in acquisition reports and traffic acquisition. And if I scroll down, you will notice here, I don't have conversion rate anywhere. So I, I have the total revenue. I have even the event accounts, or you might have even conversions, but I don't have the conversion rate. So to add it to your table, you need the rights to do it. So you should see this little pen icon if you have the rights. And don't worry if you don't see this, I'll show you another way in a second how to get the conversion rate in GA4. But I just want to show this quickly first. So if you click on the pen icon from here, we go under metrics. And now if I scroll down and I search for conversion, you see we have session conversion rate. Now, unfortunately, not all default reports can do this. So sometimes you're not able to select session conversion rate, uh, but at least for acquisition and a few other reports, it's possible. So let's go and apply from here. And now you can see in the preview here that I have the conversion rate and don't look at all events. You need to change from here to purchase, especially if you have, if you have many conversions. So I'm just going to choose purchase right now in my website. I don't, it's not an e-commerce website, so I, you don't see any conversions. By the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I've created a cheat sheet, which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. And the other way to get e-commerce conversion rate in GA4 is to the, use the explorations of reports. So you can get here through the left menu and go to explore and let's click on the blank one and make sure you have free form selected here. So here, what we need to do is just select some dimensions. Let's go and add it. So from here, we can add default. So for example, I want to look at default channel grouping. Make sure you select the session default because otherwise if you just select the default channel grouping. This won't work, but session default channel grouping. And then we also need event name. So in this case, this one, event name and import those two. Then we need also metrics. Let's import a few metrics. Let's look at sessions. Here you go, sessions. Uh, I also want conversion rate. So here, session conversion rate, make sure it's that one. And let's say uh, some sort of revenue metric. So what do we have here? Total revenue, okay, that's good, enough. that's good enough for me. Let's go import it. So we just need to grab these dimensions and put them where the rows are, like that. Or you can just double click on it and it will appear in the rows as well. And then if we scroll down, same thing with values. So we can just add them. I'm gonna double click on each of them a bit faster that way. There you go. You will start seeing some data. You can see the session conversion rate is a bit flimsy right now. That's because we also need to add some filtering. So if I go here, filters, I'm going to filter by event name and I scroll down here, select type. So we're going to here select the match type matches regex and let's type in purchase. Yep, purchase. And then we need to uh, type in the pipe sign plus session start. So session underscore start Then apply. And now when I remove the event name, we can see that we have the session conversion right there. Why I keep the event name is to double check that I've spelled correctly so that nothing is wrong there. But as soon as you've done that, you, yeah, you don't even need the event name. You just need to have them here imported so that you can filter by it. There you go. Now we can, for example, look at this at session conversion rates. Let's look what has the highest. Okay, on another side, not, it doesn't count, but email by far has the highest conversion rate. So if I put more money or more effort behind email, maybe organic social, these two can drive me more revenue with the less traffic. So that's why it's important to look at conversion rate. And hey, this is something I cover more in depth in my GA4 e-commerce course. Uh, I'm really just focused on the analysis and getting insights, leaving out the techie stuff. So uh, for more information, just check the link in the description. 